Hey everybody, it's Andy aka Max Rider. We are back with another unboxing video. This one is coming from Chaosium Inc. Bum bum bum! I've been waiting for this. Uh, I've been impatient for this, I guess I should say, because it hasn't been that long since I ordered it. But, um, it's been a while since I've gotten an actual brand new Chaosium product, it seems like. It's probably only been a couple of months, actually. They've been putting out quite, quite a bit of product in the last, since 7th edition came out, actually. So, this is, this is, this has got to be what I think it is, because it's the only thing of theirs that I've ordered. So, we got thunder and lightning outside, so you might hear a little bit of it. Wonderfully packed, as always. They do a beautiful job with, with packaging, or whatever distributing company does. Either way, it's very nice, and I understand that they've been swamped with orders uh, since they were online. But yes, oh, even shrink wrapped. Here it is, the lovely Berlin, the Wicked City. Looks to be in great shape. Oh, there's a lot of flavor text on the back. Unveiling the, the mythos in Weimar, Berlin. The wickedest city on earth. Actually, you know what? We're gonna let's go ahead and take it out of the shrink wrap first. I think that'll make it a little easier to read because there will be. Oh, I hate shrink wrap sometimes. I mean, I don't hate it. Uh, I think it's a great idea. It gets it protects the product and all that jazz. But I hate trying to get stuff out of shrink wrap because I don't want to damage my stuff. The other day, I found that somebody had banged my car up. Had slammed a door, the door, um, slammed their door into it in both the, uh, my back passenger door and the front side of the car. So some bigger car, bigger white car did that. And it really was annoying because I've been trying to keep that car in nice shape, but I suppose, I suppose it is inevitable that it happened. So I don't want to mess up something that I purchased. Can you hear that? Could you hear it creep open? Oh, it smells great. Brand new smell. Looks like a beautiful book. All right, let's, let's check this out. In the aftermath of the Great War, Berlin has a reputation for uh, 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 wow, licentious, licentiousness? What the heck? Licentiousness. Wow, I'm, I don't know that word. A place where anything may be had for the right price. It is both a city of hedonism and a city of business. Its streets overflow with disbanded veterans, prostitutes, destitute immigrants, and political agitators all rubbing shoulders with buttoned-down businessmen, scholars, and artists. The gutters run the blood of, politi of political assassinations where communists and Volkish uh, nationalists clash with each other as well as with the police. Long into the evenings, Berlin's world-famous cabarets offer music, dance, and titillating entertainment in stark contrast to gray, the gray buildings that run on for endless miles along the sprawling city's byways. Into this bubbling stew, Berlin, the wicked city, introduces the weird elements of the Cthulhu mythos, a hotbed of occult organizations, strange cults, and half-whispered lore. Amid the wicked air of the world's capital of sin, the very nature of what it means to be human is questioned, and as the city hurdles towards its inevitable dark destiny, the oppressive atmosphere pushes the sanity of investigators to its breaking point. This book presents an overview of 1920s Berlin as it would be experienced by visitors and residents of the time. Guidelines are presented for creating investigators for Berlin, Berlin -centric, a Berlin-centric campaign, as well as investigator organizations to help bind groups together. Notable personalities, key locations, and a system for generating details of the urban landscape on the fly are provided. With crime and punishment, the city's underworld, and also its high culture detailed, the tools provided help the keeper gain an understanding of what makes Berlin unique. Three scenarios are included, spanning the events and history of Berlin between the end of the Great War and the rise of Adolf Hitler and the Nazi Party. Each contain colorful details of Berlin and its inhabitants, focusing on different themes of horror, and may be run together as a Berlin-centered campaign or as a standalone or as standalone adventures for either Berlin residents or visitors to the city. The Devil Eats Flies. In The Devil Eats Flies, Germany teeters on the brink of economic ruin and political chaos. The ghost of a madman stalks the city, turning his own citizenry against itself. To stop a demonic spirit and save a Russian princess in exile, the investigators must strike a bargain with other sinister forces and ask themselves, who else are we prepared to see die in order to save the city? 
Dances of Vice, Horror, and Ecstasy takes place in the city's golden years, when things have become superficially stable and prosperous again. A bungling sorcerer, a debauched dancer, and a strange cult of Gnostic Saturn worship Saturn worshippers threaten to put all of that to an end and turn Berlin to a pit of madness and depravity. Uh, Shrek film sees Berlin racing towards the grim future. The investigators come face to face with a shadowy cabal of the, citizen, of the city's movers and shakers who are determined to turn the city's world famous film industry towards ill ends. Trapped in a labyrinth of their own making and hounded relentlessly by dark forces beyond their ken, the investigators must confront the fundamental questions of what is real and what is illusion. For mature readers, this book deals with mature themes, including drugs and sex, and is intended for mature players. All right. Fantastic. Let's take a quick look. We're already like six minutes in. Living in the city, investigators in Berlin, beautiful art as always. Oh, I love this. That is, that is awesome. Uh, investigators, organizations. There's the city map. Now I understand. Oh, 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 oh. There is a map in the back. That is awesome. You can buy a bigger uh, version of this. That is very nice. Not hooked to anything, but that's what the shrink wrap is for, isn't it? So let's be careful of that. We don't want to lose that map. Um, clubs and cafes, government buildings. Uh, Berlin zones. Berlin boroughs, very nice. What is this a picture of? Police in Berlin, okay. Uncovering Berlin. Lost literature. What's going on? What is it? Wait, 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 wait. LGBTQI investigators. Interesting. That's new. Um, very cool. Criminal organizations, neighborhoods, architecture. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Oh, you pretty things. Okay, here are some NPCs. Very cool. Mythos Berlin. Okay, Berlin's cults, scenario seeds. Ooh, that's very short. The devil. Okay, and then we have, wow. We have some big scenarios here. The devil eats flies. There's our first scenario. Their maps are beautiful. I'm loving these pictures, um, by the way. For a while, some of the pictures that came out I didn't care for of uh, certain NPCs and that kind of thing, but this is perfect. When I run a game, I will, what I'll do is I'll print this page out, I'll cut these pictures out, and then I can hand them off to people as, um, as I introduce the characters. And sometimes I will add different pictures of different characters who aren't as important. Sometimes I won't give them pictures of the important characters, so it doesn't, ooh. Dances of Vice, Horror, and Ecstasy. Interesting. Again, wonderful pictures of some of the NPCs. I love that. That really, I think that really enhances the game. If I can see a picture of an NPC, the description can be kept to a minimum. Minimum. He has a massive mustache, and then you give a picture, and it says so much more, in my opinion. Probably just me. Ooh, what the heck was is that? And finally, Shrek film. It's gonna be a long one, everybody. Sorry, I've really been kind of anxious to get this book because it just looks, looks gorgeous. Wow, they're just a lot of, a lot of maps. Berlin's film industry. Inspirational media, that's always cool. And then they've got all the handouts together. Now I wonder if they put in a special character sheet in for Berlin. You don't really need one. And it, oh, an index, that's awesome, okay. All right, so that's Berlin, the Wicked City. Thanks for watching, everybody. As always, I appreciate it, and I will talk to you all next time.